show you how to do a quick uh, updo so uh, I'll just get started so this is just my hair um, after I set it with rollers because naturally my hair is very uh, straight and uh, frizzy so I put them in hot rollers just to make them more easier to um, uh, work with so you can part it on the side if you like or you can part in the middle whichever so today I'm just gonna part on the side I will divide my hair into half, like this. I'm going to use the tail comb just to give my hair a bit of volume. So the important thing is that when you tease your hair, make sure you're just doing it about an inch away from your scalp. Because if you go too long, it gets very messy So and it doesn't stay. So the surface that you want to create the base for is right at the root. So don't go all the way down like this, but just about an inch or two close to the scalp. And that's where it will create a cushion for you. See? A lot of time if you find that it doesn't um, tease, it's because you have gone too far like this. So just do it at the roots only. So that should give me a little bit of volume. Three. Twist, grab. Twist, grab. Twist, grab. And twist, grab. I'm going to take hair and add it to the bottom piece, which is this one right here. Okay, so these two are the top, this one is the bottom, and you will add the hair to that. And twist, grab some hair, try to just gently grab it so that you can have a bit of body on the top as opposed to flat. And twist. Grab some more hair and then twist. Again, try to hold it loose. You're going to try to bring all of the braid forward to the front. Okay, so keep the front. Um, don't start leaning back. Just keep the braid at the front. Twist. The smaller section you take, the more braid you'll get and the more detail it looks. The less section you take, the less the braid and the less the detail. Secure. Okay. The reason why I don't use these because they're too thick and they'll show. And then on this side you would take a piece, divide it into three. Try not to pull it too hard so that you have some body. If it's too, if you pull it too tight, it's gonna look very stiff, very um,
very flat to the head. Keep it loose. You can pull some of the pieces out now. Just give it more volume. So if you're wearing a really uh, cute summer dress, you can leave it like this. So once you have these secure, you're going to crisscross them over like this. And then you will pin it down. So I'm going to do this side first. So determine how you want it to look at the front, how low you want it to be, or how high you want it to be. Up to you. Okay. Then... You can get a long bobby pin. And you're going to pin it in. And same thing on the other side. Over here. So when they look the same to you. Make sure you pin underneath the elastic band so that it holds. So just get it to stay like that first and then you have, once you're happy with how it looks at the back then you can tuck the rest in. So see right now it looks very flat. I'm going to pull it up like this. and pin it down. See? Same thing for this side. backwards. Once you feel that it's secure, just pin a few more in just to make sure that it stays. So once you have pinned it, um, just pull some piece out just to make it look a bit more volume and you avoid a little line down the center. So for the front, you can leave it like this. More of a natural, relaxed look. What you can do is curl it. So I'm going to curl it with the one inch and a half uh, barrel. So I want the curls to go backwards. So I'm going to let the and I'm tying it 
tucking the ends a bit so that it's a little straighter. Just a little mark there. I'm going to so curl it back. So same thing for this side. I'm gonna do the bottom first and then I'll do the bangs. So if you hold the this part to the front of you, then the curl will go backwards. If you hold this to the back of you, then the curl has to go forward. If not, you're going to get a little indentation. So if you want it to go back, make sure this piece is at the front facing the mirror. If you want to go forward, then this piece would be at the back and you will twist the hair to the front. So, I would want the hair to go backwards, so this front plate will be at the front. Now, when you, when you put it at the front, don't let it go yet because it's going to create a hook. Hold it around and then curl it. So you get a smooth curl as opposed to an indentation. So as if the ends are not curled, meaning it's a little straighter, then it'll look more like a wave. And if you want it more like a curl curl, then the ends is going to curl. So when it's a little straighter on the ends, it looks a little lot more natural and soft. Same here. I'm going to hold. Don't press yet, and then just give it a light, smooth. This way it looks more relaxed and soft. So now that I finished curling the hair, I'm just going to spray it with some A and G. It's not hairspray. Um, a lot of times, if you don't like to use hairspray, you can use a texture spray. So that's the finished look for the very easy, easy updo. This should take you about five minutes to do. It's great if you are going on a prom, a date, or even a wedding for a bridesmaid or a bride. And uh, you, this will work great on a dirty hair day. So if you had your hair washed the day before and it gets really oily, and you want to do something without washing your hair, this is a great uh, technique, way to style your hair and make it look so pretty. Um, mine is just a guide. You can mix it up or have it looser, tighter, whichever you would like. So once again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and uh, to help me raise awareness against child sex slavery and human trafficking.